Hi everyone. Um, I feel like I haven't been here in so long. <laughs> um, but I'm not gonna keep you long. I have another grocery haul video for this month and it's a lot going on around me right now and I haven't been feeling my best. Um, prayers up for me. Uh but I'm getting back to myself and I will be back to myself, my normal bubbly self soon. Um, but I wanted to get this video made. Like I said before in other videos, I'm gonna try to work on my uploading um, schedule. And um, I'm gonna work on everything else. And I'm in the Mississippi, and <laughs> see I can't even talk today. Um, on the Mississippi Gulf Coast, everything is starting to open back up, but the shelves are still empty in a lot of stores that, is in, that are in my area. So, um, this haul wasn't everything I needed, but I'm thankful for what I did get. And I'm going to continue to budget. And um, right now, I, um, I'm proud to say that I'm actually $200 under budget as of today. I am $200 under budget uh, with all the groceries and everything so far. Uh, I finally got a deep freezer. It's not a huge deep freezer, but it was, it's nice to have a deep freezer besides the one that's with my refrigerator. So I'm able to store a little more food in my pantry, as I've showed you guys before. It is always full of stuff, <laughs> and I'm just keeping it that way. But as of today, I am $200 under budget for the month, which my total budget for the month is $500. But I am $200 under that budget this month because I have been using what's in my pantry and in my freezers. And I'm thankful for that. <laughs> So I'm working, I'm working. Um, I also have um, a little video of the kids because I don't think I've had any videos of them so far on my channel. And I'm gonna try to incorporate them more into little stuff that we do around the house. And I'm also thinking about homeschooling both of them next year. Um, they're 11 and 13. And um, if anybody has any advice on homeschooling, um, let me know <laughs> because um, I've been doing it since they've been at home and while it's been real trying for me because it's not something that I'm used to um, I feel safer with them and I feel like they can still get out and and visit friends and stuff like that when it's okay to do so but um, as of right now I just feel a lot safer homeschooling them even though it's driving me crazy and I think that I'm gonna give it a go this coming school year I mean I mean depends I mean who knows if they're gonna go back to school or whatever's gonna happen with um, the virus and everything um we did a survey the parents did a survey asking would you prefer to homeschool or do a little bit of both and at the time I was like a little bit of both but um, right now, talking to some um, family members that are teachers and, and well in the school system and things like that, um, they were saying that a lot of people think it might it might be best to homeschool, which I don't have an issue with. Um, only issue is driving me crazy, and I need to find a lot of activities to keep them occupied. And I'm already on a real tight budget, but um, hopefully. I can um, deal with this. I think I can. You know, I have faith in me. But uh, we're going to see how that turns out because I'm not 100% sure yet. My daughter wants to go back to school because she's like a social butterfly. Um, my son, he it really, to him, he probably would rather be homeschooled. I mean, he has his friends and everything, but they just usually talk online over PlayStation or whatever um, ways of communication that they have. Um, he's more of a loner type, so homeschool probably would be fine with him. And I'm sorry y'all keep moving this camera, but I don't want it to get too hot. Um, 
other than that, uh, I'm going to show you this haul. And I did a little experiment with the kids. I don't know. They know the name of it. I don't know the name of it. But it's the um, where you take the Mentos and put it in the Coke and see how far to shoot up. That, that type of thing. So, we did that. We actually did it twice. Because the first time, um, they poured um, the soda... The coke out of the bottle some of it out and then they did it and it didn't shoot as high so we got another uh bottle and we did it again with the rest of the mentos and i'm gonna um put that clip those clips in here too somewhere i'm not sure exactly where yet but you will see those and i'm gonna try to do more um experiments with them and I mean, we always make slime and stuff like that. I just never record that type of stuff. And I found a recipe on Pinterest for, like, the um, sidewalk chalk. I was thinking about trying it, but then I was like, that's, I'm not crafty at all. But that's a lot to go through. And I also um, have started work working on my first, and I know this is crazy, but my first ever uh, vision board. And manifestation and things like that and I've been working on since I haven't been feeling my best and no I, I don't have uh, the virus or anything but uh, it's just I don't know there's you know it's just issues <laughs> um, I just haven't been feeling 100 I, I changed my diet and stuff and and um, I think my blood sugar and everything is just taking some getting used to um, my new diet or whatever. And I apologize for my bonnet. Y'all, but I don't it's me. It's me. I'm at home. And yeah, you're gonna get bunny right now because I mean, we don't know what it looks like under there. But um like I said, I'm gonna show this Walmart grocery haul. Um the only other things I have really been been doing was like the little filling and stuff. And for the most part this month my mom has been doing um, the grocery shopping. She's just been buying like little filling stuff, like special stuff that she wants for special meals or whatever. But um, other than that, like I said, I'm two hundred dollars under my my budget for the month so far. Um, I would I'd round it up to two hundred dollars, yeah, because it's like five hundred dollars for food every month and um. I would round it up to like two hundred dollars. Yeah, you know, give or take a few pennies, dollar something. But I am proud of myself because I'm starting to save. I'm gonna when I start to feel hope a lot better. I'm gonna start back uh, meal prep, meal prepping and things. Um, I got a pizza bread recipe that I wanna record. Um, that I'm gonna try to make uh, with the. Uh, bread dough uh i'm gonna start recording my recipes a lot of them um which is something that i have like touched on but haven't really like stuck to but i'm going to start i mean i do have the setup and everything for it but i'm i'm just i have a camera a, not just my phone anymore i got a, a camera um uh, which i'm not really familiar with using but I mean, I feel like I can get there. You know, we're going to figure out the whole tripod and all that type of setup. Because right now, I mean, I'm more comfortable holding my camera and recording. But, you know, I need more memory and things like that to do those type of videos or whatever. But I can do it from my phone, but I just need a phone. My phone's already full of stuff. So, um, like I said, I wasn't going to try to hold you guys long. And I'm sorry because I've already been talking for like nine minutes. But uh, we're going to get into this video. Okay. Mentos. Wait. Coke. What are we doing? A Mentos Coke experiment. What did you like? Putting four Mentos into two Or more. Or more. Okay, show the Mentos when you get them out. Okay. Uh, you got four. You need to line them up straight so they'll go all go in there. We should have got two cokes. Come on, hold up. 
<laughs> Wait, I don't know if I'm going to fit in there. <laughs> Hold on. Two, three. <laughs> it didn't do that bad. Daddy, Daddy you made me drop my mess up. I'm going to put the last one. The last one over there. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Because y'all already drank out of the Coke. Now we're going to have to come back with another Coke. You going to put some more Mentos in there? It's not going to do nothing. We need another Coke, y'all. We'll be back with this one. <laughs> Part two. Don't get in the way. I'm trying to get in all of this stuff. I'm going to get this fishing up. I think. <laughs> oh. It went high that time. Oh, my. I almost missed it. <laughs> yeah, I almost missed <laughs> it. I don't think it's gonna do nothing else. That's it. Oh, look how much drink we lost. Like that was almost the whole thing. Oh, and almost hit me in my hair. I saw it. I almost missed it. And of course you don't eat the last one. Okay, so it works. Though we knew it worked, we just had to try it. You just wanted to try it. Now you is your turn to go to it. Okay. Let's we'll start over here. Oh, Walmart just screwed up almost everything today. 12 pack of Oreo minis, chips Ahoy, nut butter bites. I wanted a box bigger than that. Upside down. Penne pasta. This is the only cornmeal I could find. Did you find other cornmeal? It's the only kind I could find, so. I had two of those. One jar of pizza sauce. One jar of marinara sauce. One bottle of sweet baby rice one can of quartered artichokes i got some loaf pans these are not the ones that i wanted but they were like 98 cent i think a bag of bacon bits I wanted the little yellow, the baby yellow potatoes. Um, this is the only kind they had. I really didn't want any of the substitutions that they gave me this time, but. Heavy whipping cream. 
Um, my cousin was telling me about this. Um, Tony Satchery's Creole Brown Gravy Mix. I'm going to try it. So I have two of those. Um, something I never got before, but um, I saw it. Garlic Parmesan. It's a wing seasoning. I think I'm going to try it on the chicken legs. Basmati rice. It's time trying that. Gonna see how it works. Two jars of Duke's mayonnaise. Always, always, I have four. Is it three? Of the four count strawberry Greek yogurt. Thick and fluffy. I can't talk. Thick and fluffy. French toast, something different. Um, two con two boxes of the Philadelphia cream cheese. We got so much cream cheese. It's ridiculous this time. Uh, it's one of the yogurts. It's one actually I wanted four, but I think I only got three. <sighs> Thank you, Walmart pickup. This is my fling out of the way. Um, white bread dough. So I've never used this, but I want to use it to make a uh, pizza bread. A recipe I saw on Pinterest, I think. Hence, when we come over here to our cheese, uh, provolone. Upside down Italian style cheese. They gave me two of these. I don't know. Um, uh, shredded cheddar, sharp cheddar, which I really didn't want. I wanted like a cheddar blend. I don't know if it was the mac and cheese blend or some other kind of blend, but another substitution. This actually came from Food Giant. And it's cream cheese bread. More cream cheese bread. More cream cheese bread. Sour cream. Another sour cream from Food Giant. Um, this I plan on stuffing in the, the French toast that you saw. My camera focuses. It's blurring, but... It's mixed berry cream cheese. I have two bags of chopped spinach. I'm not even sure if that was on my list. I had so many complications yesterday. A two pound bag of sweet peas. My all time favorite. Two pound bag of broccoli. Um, two bags of the large. Peeled in the vein shrimp. Two bags of those. Back there before I forget it. There's some sausage. I wanted the Koneka sausage, I think it was, but of course Walmart didn't have it. So we got this, which I use this all the time anyway, so that's okay. Diced ham, uh, Italian sausage, and <laughs> down here while it's falling, 20, what is this, 20? Is this 20 or 25 pounds sack of sugar? Something like that. Pepperoni, um, the southern style. Chicken breast tenderloin. Um, more sausage. I have two of the 16 count beef ballpark hot dogs. And 
Okay. Two bags of sour cream and cheddar ruffles. A variety bag. I think it's like an 18 count of the chips. The Cheeto Dorito mix. Okay. Spare ribs. This all came from Food Giant, which oh, you can see that right there. And they were $11.27. Pork sausage, which was $2.77. This is from Food Giant. And a pack of first cut loin and chops. $5.32. And this was from Food Giant. A case of the beef burgers that I really like. And it's from Walmart, of course. I think they're like $19. Okay, over there. I did not want those cookies. I wanted to keep the soft veg cookies. They substituted them for those. Once again, something I really was not looking forward to. Not looking forward to, but maybe somebody else will eat them. Okay. The only other potatoes mama could find. Uh, accent. Never really used it, but see them. Two cans of bushes. Bush is baked beans. And brown sugar, hickory. And two containers of blue bonnet butter and I think that is everything and I'll post the total and all that for food giant and the Walmart pickup I'm kind of disappointed. I'm not kind of disappointed. I'm really disappointed today on what I got. But at least I did get something. Okay, y'all. I tried it again with Walmart. And this is later on the same day. And... Look at my wonderful haul. <laughs> I have two of the, I think it's the 32 count, yeah. Waters. Don't mind it. Something on my phone, I don't know what that is. Um, a can of cheddar cheese soup. Because <laughs> they didn't have, again, what I needed. And a lot of stuff that, um... I tried to get they were they were just out of and I didn't want the substitutions. So this is what I ended up with. Can of spinach, two 12 packs of noodles, two one and a half pound packs of ripe bacon, and a bag of drumsticks. And I'm just gonna That's it for this month, except for like bread and eggs and flour, which I'm still having a hard time finding also. Grand total for both Walmart hauls was two fifty two twelve. Food Giant was twenty five. My mama paid for that, and I saved a total of two hundred dollars this month out of five hundred. What I meant is I saved two hundred dollars, or about two hundred dollars, out of a five hundred dollar budget this month. And I thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe and turn on the notifications. Check your girl out. It could only get better from here. And thank you.